Hey loves, welcome back to another episode of Tuesday Testimony with Queen Mo. I am your girl, Queen Mo, owner of ShopMoLavish.com, online boutique, and also YouTube influencer channel, I am Queen Mo. This podcast is all about women coming together and sharing our stories so that we can increase our faith. We are overcomers by the words of our testimony and the blood of the Lamb. Faith without work is dead, so this is my work for the kingdom. Stay connected with Tuesday Testimony by going to our website, TuesdayTestimonyWithQueenMo.com. Also join the email list so you can hear about all the new episodes coming up, all the news that's going on within us and how this podcast is growing and getting bigger and better. And also, you can send us your praise reports. And let us know if you would like to be on the show. All that can be done at TuesdayTestimonyWithQueenMo.com. Leave us a review if you are enjoying this episode on your listening platforms. And share this with your friends and family. Also, you can support this podcast with a small donation of 99 cents a month. This will help us to keep this podcast going and pay our expenses. We hope that you make Tuesday Testimony Podcast a part of your Tuesday routine. We're here every Tuesday, and we just thank you guys so much for listening and your support. And let's get right into this episode. I'm so excited for this interview, and just thank you so much for giving me your time and being on here. I'm so honor just to be able to have this interview with you in time and <sighs> oh, thank you <laughs> i'm over here just smiling from <laughs> you know <laughs> see me but yeah yes. I am. so guys i am going to be interviewing miss sylvia carol grant that's my boo i call her sylvie yeah <laughs> so <laughs> She is on here, and I am so excited for you guys to hear her testimony, to hear all the good work she has been doing in her business and for herself and for others. She has started her business, Matters of the Heart Solutions, LLC, and it is a life coaching business. If you're not following her after this episode, trust and believe you will want to follow her. You will want to take notes. <laughs> <laughs> And you will be checking your pulse. You'll be checking your heartbeat every time she comes on because she comes right for your jugular, but she gives you <laughs> right what you need in about five minutes or about two <laughs> minutes. She get right to the root of the problem. This is what you need. This is what you have. Yes. And she's so encouraging. And I just love her. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Yes, and also she has a foundation she started, Priceless Pearls Youth Ambassadors, Inc. It is such an amazing program. She takes young girls out of the community and mentors them. The first time I saw her, they were like, it's Martin Luther King Parade. And I was like, okay. <laughs> they hire a little mentorship in the Martin Luther King Parade. She's like, yes. you're my girl. And she's all about confidence and helping them throughout their future. She's always loved kids. I've known her for how many decades now? <laughs> it's been yeah. a long time. We've been walking a long time. A long time. So she's always been a woman of God. She's always been about helping people. She's always been about you being the best version of you. And absolutely. absolutely. Yes, I can definitely testify, witness. She's pulled me to the side at times while I was acting crazy in school. Hey, girl, you need to get it together. So I just love to see that she's here for others and us being older and just more wisdom and just more guidance. So I needed to have her on this show. There was no way Thank you. I was not going to be able to ask her as a guest because I needed to hear this. And I'm sure you guys do, too. And so with that said, here's Sylvia Carol Green. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much again for having me. <laughs> Thank you. I'll start. Spirit of the living God, fall fresh on this episode, Lord Jesus. I just want to thank you for this time and this opportunity and this platform to speak with such amazing and great women, Lord, for them to be able to share their testimony 
and bring healing to someone and break off some generational curses, Lord Jesus, that they're going through. Break off some joy in their heart. Break off some happiness, something that they can hear, that they can say, hey, I went through this or hey, I was thinking about this, but she came out. So I know I can come out, Lord Jesus. We just pray that the word just falls on their heart, that it'll help them draw a better relationship with you, a closer relationship with you, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen. All right. So let's get into it. Are you ready, Miss Sylvia Carroll Grant? I am so ready and I am so excited. <laughs> okay. I am so elated to have you on this show. Thank you for having me as well. Anytime. So when did you give your life to Christ and why? So when did I give my life to Christ? I would say I was about, probably about eight years old. I was mm -hmm. very young when I gave my life to Christ. Wow. I would go to church with my grandmother all the time. So backstory is when I was younger, mm -hmm. parents really didn't go to church. So what? my grandmother, yes, my grandmother, mm -hmm. she was always there, president of the Missionary Society, on different committees, wow. very hard, especially in the community and doing a lot of mission work. So I wow. always tag along with her. Okay. So at a very young age, I already knew that I love the things of God. So mm -hmm. I always wanted to be a missionary like my grandmother. Even when sometimes my grandmother or my parents would not go to church, I would make sure that I was there if I had to call the church van to come and pick me up. <laughs> you best believe that Sylvia Carol Brent hey, was man. in the building. I would wake my mom up early in the morning. And if they said that they weren't going to church, okay, can you fix my hair? Let me call my grandmother and see if she <laughs> me up. If she not picking me up, okay, next I'm going to get on the church van. I saw <laughs> so, it. So it was at a very young age. And then moving forward, and I said that story to say, because my dad is now the assistant, an assistant pastor. Come on, Mr. Grant. Of our home church. So, yes. And my mom is president of the Minister's Wives and Widows Council of the Palm Beaches. Okay. And she has been for the last 20 plus years. So even through them seeing me go to church and always wanting to be there, something sparked in them. <laughs> oh my God, that's so amazing. Yes. Yay. So that is my story about coming to Christ. It was at eight years old. And I think I want to say I got baptized when I was about 10 years old because I wow. asked that I go ahead and be baptized. I want to make it official. Oh. And there you have it. And I was the junior missionary at the church. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Yes. I remember that. You were all <laughs> even in always middle school. <laughs> yeah, she was always at the church, always in fall. Yeah, always. <laughs> yeah. yeah. My next question would be like, what was your life what was your life like before you gave your life to Jesus? But you were obviously very young. Very young. <laughs> but I will say this in the last couple of years, I was I kind of rededicated my life back to Christ. That was going to be my so next me. question. Oh, wow. <laughs> yes. So come on in the spirit. Yeah, I was going to say. Come on. Okay. Come on. Yeah. Yes. When things happen here and there, relationship, you enter, mm -hmm. all of those type of things play a part in, of course, the redom, rededication portion of your life. So I would Definitely. say in the last couple of years, maybe two to three, to be honest, I've really rededicated my life back to God. Glory to God. Yeah. Yeah, That's good. Be, um, we saw being transparent in different relationships um, um, where they can detour you from the yes. truth of God. So Oof. you get off track a little bit. <laughs> Amen. Start wanting to spend your time elsewhere, not doing the things that you know that you should be doing. So God and I had to have a conversation. <laughs> <laughs> In that conversation, he got me together because I, I definitely, prayer, which is our communication tool, Definitely. Communing with him and just listening and hearing from him with what my next steps should be and things of that nature. And 
I had to start with rededicating my life back to him and the things of him that I started out with as a child. Yes. And that's so beautiful, the rededication, because it's so true, like you said, things could detour us, relationships could detour us, grief can detour us, all kind of things in your life that you're like, okay, I know I'm not close to him. I know I don't feel him as much anymore. I'm not praying or meditating and studying as much as I want to. So when these adversities in life are coming at us, you're trying to handle it with worldly things. And it's, no, let me get back. Let me get back to my father. Yeah. <laughs> get back, back to your first love. <laughs> yeah. And that was, and he's always been my first love. He right. Introduced to me like that. And I'm so happy that he was because it sets the foundation and the tone for your life. And so yeah. I'm glad that my grandmother most definitely set that tone within our family and especially within me. They say right. train up a child in the way that they should go. And when they are old, they will not depart from it. Yeah. That's one of the scriptures that I stand on to as well. Awesome. All right. So can you give us an example of one of the most challenging times in your life that you know for sure God helped you overcome? Ooh, yes, I can. It wasn't that much long ago. I want to say it's been about, ugh, it's still in probably about three, the last three years, I would say, has been a little trying from our family with my dad. My dad got sick and it was all of a sudden he had to, he first he had a stroke and then he had to have amputation. And oh, wow. A lot of times the invitation comes from being diabetic. We didn't even know my dad was diabetic because he was always the healthy one. He was always the one that ate right, worked out, even in his different jobs and the capacities that he was in. He always was out moving, working hard, yeah, things like that. He had the stroke and then he had to have the amputation because he got gangrene on one of his toes oh. and it had gotten so far into his blood streams to yeah. where they had to do the amputation. And even to this day, that's when we found out even about the, about him being diabetic, but wow. even with his numbers and things like that, when we go back to the doctor and everything, mm -hmm. I think it's still stabilized. His numbers are always so low. Yeah. But I knew it was something that I had to go through. Mm -hmm. Very difficult. Very difficult. Yeah. Whew. Even to this day, because of all of the doctor's appointments and things that you have to continue to go to. Yeah. Um, because even in the midst of that, too, he had to have thinning done. There's just so many things that happened after the stroke back to back. But God is still faithful. And I knew that I had to go through it. Because it helped to increase my faith yeah. and also for me to depend on God more, mm -hmm. to be patient more. And one of my gifts is healing. So I also yeah. had to go through that for the experience because even myself, I had a little scare and God, God was saying to me, you have to go through these different phases of your life and these experiences of your life that don't sickness because I am going to use you to help heal my people. Yeah. So you knew you had to. <laughs> yes. Knew you had yes. to go through it. Wow. Knew wow. I had to go through it. Yes. So when God shows you that you have to go through it and you Ooh. just have to trust him and lean yeah. not to your own understanding. <laughs> know, that's right. Yeah. My God. <laughs> have a peace like no other and um, yes. I went through some of that with my mom. My mom was, she always had medical conditions, probably from the time I was in first grade all the way up to her death and the things she had to have her leg amputated as well. And so it was a lot, but it was a lot on her body. It was a lot on her heart. She had to do maybe before she passed, we were in and out the hospital for at least six months straight, six months to a year straight from Orlando to Palm Beach to just every day being there. So it's a hurdle. It's very trying. And that's definitely when you have to lean on him. Most definitely. It, it, it's a different type of, I was talking to my sisters this weekend about mm -hmm. strength has been, the word strength has been coming for in my view, 
eat yeah. every day of this week. And one of them, if I wasn't mistaken, as I was telling them, they had mentioned it, I want to say, in a Bible study lesson that one of them were doing. And I couldn't remember which one. Mm-hmm. Shrimp just kept coming up. Mm-hmm. And a lot of times, a lot of people don't really understand when we're praying to God, oh, I want your strength, God, or I need strength like yes. the other. He's going to test you in those areas of mm. yeah. <laughs> so increase your strength. Yeah. So because we're praying and we want that strength and we and we look at it as a positive thing, there right. is some experiences that are going to go along with it mm-hmm. to increase that strength, just like to increase your faith. There's yeah. always going to be some experiences <laughs> for you to be hopeful and things. <laughs> Definitely. So true. I'm so glad you said that too. Because as you get closer with God, it's he's okay, you want this? So here's the exercise. It's like school. Like you got nine weeks to study before you take this test at the end of the semester. And so it's like that with God. My friend would always say, All right now, be careful what you ask for. Because be I'm like, I just want to serve you. And they say, you know, people call, Can you pray for me, kid? I'm like, Oh, mm-hmm. that's you, but that's what you ask for. <laughs> Yep, and no that's area that exactly. you want. Yeah. You want to be stronger, but you're going to get multiple tests. <laughs> and they didn't help there. And for the game to help it. Yeah. And they come back to that. I'm telling you, it's just like school. They're going to start you off with the little, old, hey, just do this exercise one. Yeah. And before you know it, you in exercise 13, and you better remember everything you went through to pass that test. That's right. To that get over that. Good. So, so good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I just thought about it, but that's so true when you say that he will stretch you. And then sometimes people get the why me, why I'm going through this. You're going, everybody he called, you're, he calling, you're anointed, you're blessed. So he called you to be in that position so that mm-hmm. then use it for something better. That's but right. That's so true. Yes. But when you in it, <laughs> it's a different story. But like you said, it's a different kind of strength. And then you trust him on a different level, a okay. deeper level than you did before. Most you know? Yeah. So that's so true. So let's get into what inspired you to follow your dreams and start a life coaching business, Matters of the Heart Solutions, LLC. <laughs> what inspired me? I can honestly say I always have known because by by way of work, I am also a counselor. I counsel people, especially students, and I also do co- was doing coaching too as well. And I was talking with my mentor and my mentor really is the one who inspired me to be a coach because (laughs) yes, she is someone, first of all, that I look up to and she is someone who I call a master strategist and the soulologist with her business. And she inspired me meaningfully. She has different diverse perspectives on different things when it comes and the coaching that she does, which was, she was my coach too, as well. And mentor is very transformative, very transformational. So I knew that I needed to go into this direction, especially for me having my own work done, my own Mm -hmm. heart work done. I wanted to help inspire some others to get their heart work done which is why I chose Matters of the Heart because the things of the heart truly matter to me. And it's not until you get to the root of those things of your heart that you're going to progress in life. Just like I know on my website, it says, it's like when we think of the, we think of it as the organ of life because it gives life, it breeds life. Yeah. But when it stops, Life is gone. Mm-hmm. With that being said, those things and heart issues that you deal with, when you're not dealing with those things and you don't get to the root of those things, oh. it throbs at your heart and you become lifeless. So our heart also is a place that we dwell. It's our hidden center. Yes. The place that we make all of our decisions, okay. where we encounter <laughs> things where we make covenant with things, those things that we deal with the heart. <laughs> yes. 
we have to get to the root of it. So I wanted to help others get to the root of those things by coaching them through these, through this life journey so that they can be better and live their best life authentically. Yes. Well, you are definitely the woman for the job. In fact, I probably need to go ahead and sign up um, after this. <laughs> <laughs> the battle of the hearts I need to deal with. <laughs> that I've been navigating through time. Me and Jesus have been working on it together, honey, but he probably said it help. <laughs> I'm tired of it. Let somebody else work on it. Come back. Yes. <laughs> so I yes. think that is so exceptional. I definitely feel like you're the woman for the job. Thank you again. And I wanted to ask, you coined the term multi-passionate strategist. Can yes. you tell us what that means? <laughs> I know it sounds really big, but what it truly <laughs> means is you have a variety of different things, important features, elements, talents that you can work on right. sometimes at the same time or even individually. Yeah. And that's something that's a gift in itself, too. You can be mm -hmm. gifted in so many areas to be able to operate in, but just knowing the timing of when you need to operate in those areas. Just because you are skillful in those areas mm -hmm. and do it, there's always a time and season for everything. That's awesome. I love oh. that you say that. Thank you. Yeah, I love it that. Is. It's a time and season for everything. You may have more than one thing, but just making sure you're in the right time and especially in God's time. Yeah. The most important thing. I love it. <laughs> what services do you offer as a life coach? Who services that I offer? I offer first and foremost to help you with a heart issue that you may have, help you find a solution, discover new pr perspectives, and just really my main thing is to help you help your heart to beat again so that you can navigate through life challenges. Um, and I offer them, I have different packages that I offer, different types of sessions, client and coach, small groups, even telephone <laughs> here and yeah. there if it's needed. Oh. Um, but I do have different packages that I offer so that we can find a solution to whatever the matter of your heart issue that you are dealing with so that you can navigate what it really is, the direction clearly that you want to do. That's oh. okay. Yeah. Pretty customizable. <laughs> yes, yes. Yeah. It's customizable. Yes, it can be. So love it. Yes. <laughs> so what do you think is the biggest myth about life coaching? Oh, the biggest myth about life coaching. Let's see that. I would say, honestly, that successful people don't need coaching. That is one of the biggest myths I can think Whoa. of. Whoa. Come on straight to the heart. <laughs> hey. Yes. That is a big myth because a lot of people will think that just because they see them in the limelight or yes. the lights are glowing on them that they have it all together. And to be honest. Come on, Mr. Oh. Carol. <laughs> right, get to it. People who are successful, they are doing the right things to be successful, but they don't always have it together. So oh, yeah. I'll bring it to you like... Baby, you done like shot me already. Just so you know. <laughs> I'm already down in the heart. Go ahead. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> but just like athletes, they are successful. They're making millions of dollars mm -hmm. and working hard. They're in these commercials and things of that nature. But guess what? Yeah. They have to have a coach to coach them through. Yes. And I even bring it to music. And that's a part of, <laughs> yeah. of my, my term, my coin with singing and things of that nature. Oh, yeah. Oh, and, and if y'all need a vocal coach. coach. Sylvie, can, <laughs> Sylvie can blow, baby. Sylvie can. <laughs> Woo! I was doing not. I love your singing. I could. I didn't even want to touch on the time. It was get off topic, but <laughs> still, it can blow. She needs to be on American Idol. Oh Lord, I don't, I don't know if I need to go that far. Why <laughs> she has not? 
Kathy, I'm not up there with the big dog. <laughs> yes, you are. Yes, she is. Y'all do not let her fool you. Um, I'm not even going to talk about your singing okay. sister. I'm just letting oh. you go ahead. Yes. So athletes but, needed a coach. Yeah. And also singing, coach. And they need a coach. Yes, That's true. Different artists, they need coaches to coach them through. Yeah. They help them navigate. Those are just like two examples that really came to my to mind when you asked me that. Just that. those successful people, they can be really successful. You can see them with all the money. Like I say, you can see them on different commer- commercials. I see them in the news and different things like that, but they have coaches and not even just coaches for their specific areas, but sometimes you need coaches just to navigate through life. Yeah. It's the, it's the smallest things that you don't even think about that if you have someone to guide you through it, it will be so much better when those little bitty things change. <laughs> That's so true. That's so true. And just to piggyback on that, Bishop would always say that I listen to Bishop T.D. Jakes on Lime, a e-member. So that's why I be it on Sunday in front of YouTube watching him. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> and for my birthday, my sister took pity on me and flew me out there so that I could oh, go to nice. the actual church. <laughs> yes. But I love the way he breaks down the word. And the one thing he said, too, is the same as what you said. You can be successful in business, but in your personal life, you could be struggling. Yeah. Or yeah. you can be successful at home. In personal life. It yeah. helps, right? Failure. For sure. Yeah. You, you could be a great husband, but then not be the best dad. Yeah. Or vice versa. Yeah. So it, you need that coaching through because sometimes life is so busy and it's throwing us so much. Because everybody see on the outside, oh, she's a great businesswoman or he's this great business person and mm-hmm. they have it all together. And then they'll even with the family, like, you should be honored to be this child of this mm-hmm. person or be, this, be some kin to this person. But on the inside, they don't know how to navigate themselves at home because their brain no. is totally on business. Yeah, and that is so true. They don't Um, even understand some of the obstacles that they are facing. And a coach helps you identify that. Definitely. You can miss it. Yeah, you can miss it. And it can be easy because life is happening. Yes, life is happening. COVID is happening. Yeah. Um, Your children is going through COVID. Your nieces and nephew is going through COVID. Everybody's going through their certain things. So if you... I'll go back to the business example. If your whole energy is the business to expand it and to make money and to make these connections and network, and you've got all kinds of coaches, even on the business side, this is how the website should be. This is how you should be investing your money. This is how you need to claim your taxes. It's easy to go home and be like, hey, just be happy I'm here. I'm out here trying to make money for us. Like, <laughs> exactly. No, I don't know true. what dinner is. Let's call it dinner. Like, this should be small. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, we don't need to sit at the table. We're eating here on the right. same roof. <laughs> I paid for this roof. <laughs> I paid true. for this home. Be happy you're in the home. But that's what you so wouldn't true. see is maybe the wife is having trouble at work. Maybe she has a friend that's dying on the side. You can't see that because your focus is there. Or maybe the child is being bullied. Maybe all these other things, their mind is programmed on the business and providing for their family. Sometimes the emotional like charge or the emotional fuse that should be there. It's not there. And so that's, that's where coaching and there's different types of coaches. Mm-hmm. You know? Or specific right. things that you want, because not only am I, I that I deal with the heart, but yeah. I also do career bound coaching too as well. So there's career yeah. coaching, you yeah. know that. So certain people they choose to only focus on one area right. of coaching, but there's so many different issues out there. <laughs> yeah yeah for sure that you may need assistance with and guidance with so definitely and through your before you were saying you were counseling before so like your nine to five your day-to-day was counseling yeah like and, it, and it's yeah and it still people. is so that's a whole nother area <laughs> dealing right. with trauma and emotional <laughs> things definitely yes indeed. but that helps serve as a life coach because you have so many areas that you do work in yeah come across that you have experience in also you have a master's of science degree in psychology 
Yes, uh huh. Psychological studies, okay. concentration in counseling. Yes, bachelor speech. Okay, then, Bill. Yes. Credential. <laughs> CLC certified life coach credentials. So don't play with Sylvie. She's educated, backed up with all the credentials. Don't play with her. Period. Yeah, and, and I can be just regular too as well. Yes, yeah, she is. She <laughs> is. And I think that's what's going to be so successful and going to make you so successful with your business and also for the clients because you can reach everybody on different levels. Oh, thank you. Yes, to yeah. God be the glory. Amen. Oh, I give it all to him. Amen. <laughs> yep. Your biggest thing is going to be trying to scale all this. Yeah, that part. <laughs> <laughs> that part. <laughs> That's good, though. What is the goal on your hit list for Matters of the Heart to accomplish in the next five years? Ooh, a goal on my hit list. Let me. Mm. Let's see, let's see. Probably taking, I would say, probably taking some of my heartbeats on a different platform. Mm -hmm. So to say, maybe more than likely getting it more in commercials and news. Uh, and so some things were kind of lined up. Okay. <laughs> For the heartbeat. About. I love the, heart. the heartbeats. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Can you, ex if no, if somebody mm -hmm. has never been to your website or followed you, what is a heartbeat? So a heartbeat is something, a little tidbit that I give for, as I call them, a pulse check. <laughs> yeah. To check your heart on some things that are going on generally, maybe publicly. Or maybe something that you may need to just look at that may resonate with you. So, for example, I can give you one of my heartbeats that stands out to me and that I'm constantly reminded of. And it's one that says, find what you are afraid of and tackle it by force. Oh. You will never overcome a fear by holding back. You must use fear. Otherwise, it uses you. Yes. So it's just always a little nugget to test your pulse, to check yes. your heart, and to maybe check something that you're involved with or something that may be going on with you or something that may be getting ready to even come up in your life. Yes. So it's just literally just a little nugget for something for you to just think about. I love it. Every time. Your post check come up, Sylvie. I'm just like holding my heart. I put my hand over my heart. <laughs> I'm like, I know she's gonna hit me with something I ain't ready for it today. <laughs> I'm gonna have to get it together. <laughs> yes. And I'm just like, here we go. <laughs> yep. It's something as I say to make your as it says to make your heart beat again. And one of my taglines is with a healthy heart, the beat goes on. So some of those little nuggets help to build a healthy heart yes when you did august 1st i believe you were in new york okay <laughs> yes so let's talk about that it was it i was in the new york times <laughs> yeah one of my favorite places to be because a lot of people don't know you mentioned my mm -hmm. undergrad was in speech communication Yes. Of course, I did. I've done a lot of speaking, oratorical speaking, one oratorical contest. I love yes. news and all of those things that is connected with news and broadcasting, oh. with radio and things like that, too. So in there. <laughs> I never knew that. Uh, exclusive. Yes. Okay. So who would have known that, I, and I didn't even know this because I'm still learning all of this stuff that I right. went viral. I no. From different states sending me messages people <sighs> I haven't talked to in years. Was like, did you know that you went viral? I was like, oh no, I didn't <laughs> know. I'm just getting used to this whole IG, Instagram world. Yes. Because of my business. But they were like, oh, did you know you made the Explore page? What? No. I do the explore page. <laughs> See, I don't even really know what the explore page is. Because the explore page is a big deal. So, see, I didn't know. Yeah. It's a big deal on IG. If y'all don't know, let me tell you real quick. 
So <laughs> IG, if you're especially Instagram is the hardest. Let me tell you how oh girl. Woo, damn, my spirit. Let me tell you how hard it is to get on the explorer page. So if people are even getting shadow banned on Instagram. Wow. Right now, I watch a lot on my Instagram YouTube. So I watch a lot of vlogs and other people think that they're actually getting shadow banned. So if one day they got twenty five K likes the next day they might get five they might okay. get five k and so okay. what's happening is they're shadow banning certain people they are mm-hmm. moving around that algorithm of wow. instagram so a lot of people who were posting and being successful are not getting as many looks and many visions as they used to okay. every influencer's dream is to hit the explorer page okay <laughs> Because well. the floor pages are front. It's like the it's like for the newspaper, it'll be the front page of the newspaper. Okay. I yeah. guess that's something I need to share. So if you want yes, ma'am. a post, the, I'm sharing it. Today. You definitely <laughs> need to share I that. didn't know how big it was. And even when I asked my students at the school, miss, yo, they didn't know. And I'm like, yeah. So I did another reel with my brother too as well. And he has a business for site development. And we did a Cohen, and that went, I, I think we did over 5,000 views. Wow. I didn't know that it was <laughs> going to be this huge. I did not know. That's so good. Yeah. And uh, I was doing it just as usual. Yeah. <laughs> just but as usual. Listen, I told, that's why I warned them. When that post tag come on, she goes right for your heart. It's no playing around. It's no... Oh, they don't really apply to me. It hits you. She gets right to the spot. But it's good <laughs> because it's things that as adults, I think a lot of time we try to suppress stuff. Right. We're living in an age where it's just, okay, I'm good. If I don't talk about it, if I don't mention it, then I'm good. If I don't break it up to anyone. But it's there. It's in your heart. It's going to, if you were hurt in a relationship, you could have the best person for you come after that. But because your heart is not healed, because your heart has mm. been so broken, you can't even accept the good things that could come out of that relationship. Fear right. will stop it as well. Yes. Yes. So, you, well, you in the heart. You in yeah. the heart. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, I know. <laughs> yes. It's hard because that could be the best person for you. But maybe you were a communicator in your last relationship. This time you feel like maybe I shouldn't communicate. Maybe that person said, oh, you do too much or you say too much, you respect too much. So you're going to move different and you can't really accept what's in front of you. So you have to deal with it. But I believe, too, in our African-American culture, as long as you say you're fine and as long as you don't talk about it, everybody will believe that you're fine. Yes. And they will believe it. But deep (laughs) down inside, you're not fine. You're not okay. So why, why not do the work? So you can feel better. Because when you feel better, yeah. you look better, you perform better. Glory. Like everything around you is mm-hmm. better. <laughs> yes. Yes. And be brave enough to fall in love with yourself yes. again. Exhibit fall in love with yourself yes. again. So that way, when that person comes, you know exactly how you want it to be treated. Exactly. And after you, even with coaching, and sometimes I know me, I can easily intertwine the coaching <laughs> and yeah. the counseling. But once those different triggers, the mm-hmm. different patterns that I talked about, I know in one of my heartbeats or what have you, yes. once you know them and you can identify them, mm. then you can know those impulses that you usually indulge in. You can know how to suppress them a little bit exactly. when you're in those moments right. and seek that that counseling or that coaching so that you don't just actually continue to suppress it, but mm-hmm. you actually do away with it so that you change that pattern to a, a different habit of nature. Yes. So... I totally yes. agree with that. Yes. Okay. Yes. <laughs> this is really good. I'm enjoying it, Sylvia. I'm like, I'm going to hold you on here all night. <laughs> we can go. We can talk all night. <laughs> it's so good, though. All right. So I'm going to shift a little bit off matters of the heart, even though congratulations on going viral. My goodness. <laughs> Glory to God. Look, 
I didn't even know. And it still hasn't. I know a lot, like you said, the influencers mm -hmm. is their world. And that is what yes. they are living. Blower <laughs> page, girl, that's like the Golden Globe. That's like, babe, you don't want a war. You call the management, hey, tell them to up that money on my brand deal. Okay. Blower page, it's just like... <laughs> You Look, are too so excited. I, that is something. You, and they keep telling me, you've got to stay doing things and making sure you're up, updating and uploading things for social yeah. media. So thank you. I'm going to I'm gonna post something about it. But yeah. you know me, y'all do it. doing business as usual. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Just walking in love, walking in yes. shit, walking and not, even, Lord, and not even knowing. That's a testimony right there in itself. We go ahead and close out. I'm just walking in the Lord. I didn't know I went to explore page. No. But I'm on there. I, but it, it's good. And you do give good content. Thank and you. And the thing that stuck out for me, you're welcome, totally. The thing that stuck out for me, I was like, she's on a trip. And I'm just following from the outside like everybody else. If I follow your page, I'm like, wow, she's on a trip in New York. And you look so happy and your friends and everybody looks mm -hmm. happy. Thanks. I said, but she stopped to do a pulse check mm -hmm. to let us know, hey, I'm here, but let me tell you something. Get mm -hmm. your heart together. Get this mm -hmm. together. And I'm still thinking about everybody else making sure that they it's are us. filling themselves up with what they need yes. and make sure that their heart, again, is healthy. Definitely. That's what stuck out to me. I was like, she could be just chilling, but she's still doing it and working because people don't know from the back end. Yeah, it was a small snippet of recording, but baby, I gotta go edit this. I'm on my way to go. I'm on my way to go to dinner or something. But let me go ahead and bust this out. And make well, sure my right and I'm okay. And Not when it comes to editing, I thank God. I'm gonna be honest. I thank God for two specific people. Okay, and... better shout them out. <laughs> I'm gonna shout them out. <laughs> They're my two best friends, but my brothers and sister too, Rita and Derek, and they both have businesses too as well. Wow. Rita has platinum legacy yeah. and he has foresight development where he does some coaching and a lot of media and she does too as well oh. and event planning and things of nature. I thank God for them because that part is not my world that I live in <laughs> and that I know how to navigate yeah. so <laughs> readily <laughs> like they do. So I thank God for them. I can send them things. That's and a I make sure. It, you know, and I know a lot of people, they say when you're dealing with friends and business or what have you, yeah. I know. We still do business. Still do business because that's time. That's what I get to as well. But I make sure no, that I'm that's true. taken care of. <laughs> yes. I yes. love that you say that too. Because when it's business, sometimes people take it for granted. Oh, my friend could do my, this or it you know, they can put this together no. for me. And it's, no, your friend got stuff to do too. Exactly. <laughs> but exactly. they love you, so they going to do it. But I love that you say that y'all still do business. And we I think that's business. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think that's amazing. And we then still, it's, look, everybody, we still do invoices. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Period, poo. <laughs> Let me send you this invoice. Here come yes. my phone video. Yes. Yeah. Because, go know, a pay. lot of people, they don't they don't think about that when it's time to sue. Right. And even when people make it successfully or what have you, mm -hmm. you're gonna pay all these other people to do things. Why not pay the people who are the closest Be gone to get you? Yeah. You pay them the same thing. And not even, if not, even more. Because Speak they on it. <laughs> I love that. Speak on it. So yes. That is so true. Because I think I just saw a quote too, but I've had it happen to me where people will call you and ask you for business advice, but they won't pay like your coaching fee or they won't exactly. pay your fee. Or they'll, and so you'll sit and have a personal conversation. But before I know it, I'm two hours in and I would charge somebody an hour just to have this guy just say, have this. Then you'll talk to other people that have already paid someone, but they're calling you to verify what that person said. <laughs> Exactly. Which I think is the craziest thing in the world. Because <laughs> They'll want the free things from you. Yeah. If, and not that it's all about money, but sometimes it can be the principle at times. And that's what it is most of the time. It's the yeah. principle because it's, do you really respect what I'm saying or is it? And do you, ex do you respect the office that I occupy in that area too? Exactly. Oh, I love that. 
Yes. I love that. But that's so true. And I think that's what keeps it going. And two, your friends are going to be the one around you that want to see you win. Exactly. Especially if you have the right friends and who is who. (laughs) If you're calling them your best friends or what. (laughs) I can honestly say my best friends, they act with integrity and positive intent. Yeah, so, oh, no worries about, about it. it. Yeah, <laughs> no worries. So true. That is best friend associate. Mm-hmm. When you're doing business and you're doing other stuff, time is of the essence. So yes, it is. I always one thing my cousin had put in me. She has a business and everything. Trinette, she was my first guest, and mm-hmm. she was like, "Well, you have to remember, everybody does not deserve access to you." That is so true. And so when she said that, it just hit me in the heart. And I was like, you're right. Because you think about it, you take phone calls from people that really don't mean you well, that's taking you away from what you were actually trying to do. You're answering emails or you're doing other stuff. That's going to pull you away from what your goal is. And God has specifically designed you for who should be aligned to you too as well. Definitely. So just always remember that. Yes. You, what you have, somebody needs. Exactly. I love that. Yes. All righty. Can you tell us about your organization you founded back in 2016 called Priceless Pearls Youth Ambassadors, Inc.? So Priceless Pearls, which is my ultimate baby, (laughs) and we are big on transforming young ladies into model citizens. That is something that you'll see a lot of as our mission, sometimes on our tagline. Another thing is capturing girls' hearts because we're big on that. Yeah. Mentor girls in sixth through 12th grade. And the heart of our program is what we call Pearl Talk. That is where we can sit and we can dive in on these different topics and issues that they are going through. And to be honest, that's where we do all of the capturing heart. Oh, wow. Um, We have added features, of course, the community service projects that we do, Mm -hmm. some of the fundraising that we do, and the Pearl socials and things of that nature to make sure that they are still having fun and living life. But we get and capture and get into their hearts with a Pearl Talk. So we do a lot of college readiness, goal setting. They get a lot of the coaching too as well. The increased emotional and social health and awareness, relationship building. You name it. We talk about it. One of our topics we do is downplaying drama, hygiene. Like we (laughs) hit all of those areas that we know that they need. To deal with it yes. <laughs> or are dealing with it. <laughs> Dang, that's awesome because those are mm-hmm. skills that that's going to help them in college. That's going to help them in their adulthood. That's just going to help them beyond them being a teenager. That's going to help them throughout mm-hmm. their life. Yes, it is. And have <laughs> that mentor. And we all know it's being young. You always remember that mentor that took time to really exactly get you there. If it wasn't for that person, I don't know where I would be. So I think that's so great. Yeah, it takes a village. It takes a village. I thank God for my youth advisors, chief business officer, associate director. I thank them daily because they help make it happen for the program with the girls. So amazing. Shout out to them. Yes. (laughs) And shout. Yes. And I wanted to, you had mentioned your mentor. So I wanted you to give her a shout out if you want. No, yes, most definitely. (laughs) My mentor, (laughs) she's also my big sister too. Mm -hmm. And her name is Winston McLean. And she is a licensed, licensed, I'm sorry, family therapist. And her business is Soul Care Institute. And when I tell you Soul Care is the best care, Wow. Soul care is the best care you can get. And I think I started out earlier saying that she was a soulologist. When I tell yes. you, <laughs> she deals with that mind. She deals with the heart. Wow. She deals with the will, the inner man. She dissects it piece by piece. Oh. But she is awesome, awesome, awesome in everything that she does. She is the guru. She's a master coach. <laughs> <laughs> okay. A therapist. <laughs> I love that. Yes. So shout, shout out to her. her. Yes. What is your favorite Bible verse? I think you mentioned it earlier. Okay. That was one of them. 
But let me see. There is another one. And it is Matthew 6, 21. And it says, for where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. Where your treasure is, your heart will be also. And it's my favorite verse because it's just, you cannot see what's in a person heart so you must look to them i would say to what comes out so whatever mm -hmm. they value wherever they spend their time that's where their treasure is oh, <laughs> that's what you, know. you and you will know the condition of their heart by what they pay attention to what they partake in what they interact with engage with all of that because as i said before the heart is the center yeah. Of what it is. <laughs> I love it. That you are. Yep. It's your dwelling place. So mm -hmm. wherever you dwell, you will be able to see it in others. So that's my favorite. My favorite verse. I love that that's your favorite. And it has the heart tied into it. Yes. <laughs> I was like, girl, you should have been a heart doctor. I swear. <laughs> that's what you're doing. That's why I'm ready to let you do it. Go ahead and call you the heart doctor. I <laughs> But one thing I can honestly say and want to publicly say is I've done the work and I can honestly say that I've done the work and which is the reason why I connect so much with the heart because I've dealt with some of those things. Not all of the heart issues, but I've dealt with a lot and God yeah. had to mend a lot even with me too as well. Going through therapy, seeing my coach even still regularly, the coach needs a coach. Oh, true. Kind of like I said before, just because you're successful or in whatever faucet you occupy, like you still need a coach yes. <laughs> to help you navigate. I've done the work, so I wouldn't ask you to do anything that I haven't done myself. Okay. Seeing the benefits and walk yeah. through it and just, okay. I love it. When you said too, I wanted to piggyback when you said to watch their interests and their values and things. I know the Bible had, when I was going through, it kept coming out to me, the tree. And he mm. was like, in the Bible, watch how the tree is growing or watch what fruit are growing on the tree. Cause right. uh, good a good tree is only going to produce good fruit and a bad tree is only going to produce bad fruit. It cannot be that bad tree, that a bad fruit is on a good tree. It can't because so, it won't be able to produce. <laughs> yes. Yeah. But I remember going through a season of just, I guess I was dating or talking to people and he just kept that tree kept coming up. Look at the tree. Look what, look what they paying attention to. And also look at what people are doing what on their, do. yes. And I always say, look what they're doing on their down, down time. Exactly. If you got down time to yourself, what are you doing with it? What are you doing yeah. with it? And that, like you said, that's their value. That's where they that's value. Spending. That's where they place most of their time. Exactly. So as a woman, if there's somebody you're dating, you have to look and see what they're doing. <laughs> on their down time. It doesn't look. align with what you're doing on your down time. That's a free one from Queen Mo, y'all. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> check the down time. Check the values. Like Sylvan said, check where... Check where uh, men money go. What are they spending their money on? What are they investing in? Is it investment? Is it mm -hmm. things like that? I remember it was so funny how God talks to me now because I am I already think I'm like halfway crazy anyway because I'm a Gemini. So it's like all these <laughs> Monique's talking at one time. <laughs> I, and I remember I was with a guy. We were on a date. We had already been together. and We were trying to reconnect. And I'm just looking at him, just the stuff he was saying and the things he was doing. Something just downloaded in my spirit going, now, is that who you want to spend the rest of your life with? Yeah. Is this <laughs> what you actually want to do? <laughs> Are you really happy right now? And I'm like... <laughs> And I'm sitting across from the person, but all this stuff is coming up in my spirit. And I'm just like, no, you know, like answering it back. <laughs> like, <laughs> like answering it back. Then I'm trying to find a way out because of, cause after I said all the no's, I'm still trying to carry on with the dinner and stuff. And I'm like, girl, God just specifically downloaded this into you. Let it go. Let it go. Like you just answered no four times. Go about your business. Yeah. Go, go. Yeah. Nine out of ten, we know up front. We do. We right. Do. 
we do exactly <laughs> so now wishes yeah <laughs> that love thing that heart thing so to get those things in a twine maybe it was something i missed sometimes people are your ex for a reason but i learned that the hard way <laughs> too <laughs> Yes, yes. Okay. We've been, we've all been there. <laughs> yes. So that thing, but what I was going to say too, I forgot what I was going to say, like just what they spend their time on. And that's why I said to earlier, get to know you and what you love. Because sometimes when we come out of relationships, we don't really know what we love anymore. We don't know what we like to do because Sometimes you conform to what that person wants or how it was going in that relationship. So you have to reintroduce yourself back to yourself. You have to get to know yourself. That's real good. Yeah, because I remember coming out of my divorce and somebody was like, what do you like to do? What makes you happy? Oh, the kids like to go to Chuck E. Cheese and the kids like to do this. And so when I was doing your life, it's always, it's been surrounded just by the kids. Yeah. Of course, they're supposed to be your main focus. Yeah. Uh, But you still need to be able to not lose your whole self either. Right. You, it was all that balance (laughs) and what the spouse wanted. I remember not even knowing my favorite dish anymore because everything I was cooking for everybody else's liking and things so just small stuff like that that I try to just put out on the show because you do go through that and sometimes it it wasn't even marriage it could have just been a long relationship it could have been shorter just depend on how you conformed yourself in that relationship yeah we become kind of like we were saying you become busy just the one (laughs) and and it becomes a norm (laughs) yeah you don't even you don't Don't even recognize the change oh wow okay on Sunday I really didn't like watching football all day or I really Mm -hmm. didn't want to do those things so it's important so we said have somebody coach you through those things because sometimes you just don't even know how far off you are from yourself and you can't that is so true move on to be with anybody else if you don't know what you actually the worst thing is starting something and then you're in the middle of it trying to figure out do I really like this no I don't really want to go there what do you want to do I don't know <laughs> but I know I don't want to <laughs> just a small time just the little things you could do to get to know yourself yeah that I think are important as well and so on that, what is the favorite thing you like to do for self-care? I know everybody's on this self-care, self-care. Yeah. <laughs> soul yeah. care. Now I hear soul care from Sarah J. Yeah. Uh, soul <laughs> care. So what is your favorite self-care thing? So we touched on it earlier, but my okay. favorite thing is travel to different places. My My ultimate goal is, of course, to travel to all states. And I've been to... Yeah, a plethora of them. But to travel to all of the states, and it was to go to at least five countries. I'm trying wow, to see if I've done that. Yeah, I think I'm. I think I'm one short, maybe. But well, let me see. <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking of where I've been. Okay. Yeah. Now, so I'm gonna I'm gonna move that up with the countries. Okay. But exploring different places. It gives me that rejuvenation that I need, Mm -hmm. that peaceful time away and moments away from just removing myself from my current environment. Because I do work a lot, honestly. I have, even with a girl like, I'll probably (laughs) three to four (laughs) jobs. Yes, ma'am. And not including with caregiving and things of that nature too as well. So juggling all of that, it can get to be a lot. So just removing myself from that environment and that Mm. routine, it is just peaceful. And being intentional about who I travel with, who is going to be that peace that I need to as well. And come on, joy is really big for me. Really big for me with traveling. That's awesome. Yes. And I'm glad that you dropped that little nugget. Be intentional about who you travel with. Who you travel with. Because, yes. (laughs) And it's Lord to God. It's okay. (laughs) I want people to know it's okay. (laughs) It's okay to say, no, I don't want to go with you. Exactly. (laughs) (laughs) No, I'm not traveling at this time. (laughs) No. (laughs) 
think of that, especially for self care. Yeah, well, you got to be intentional who you bring with you. Yeah, that's so true. <laughs> oh, I love that you said that, <laughs> and I love that it's travel because I think mean, that's awesome. How are you tracking the travel with the state? Um, have a list, or a I do map? have a checklist. I do, I do have a checklist. Okay. And I'm now looking to see what's going to be my next for next year. Okay. <laughs> That's next awesome. Year. I'm looking already. And in my group of friends who I do travel, we mm-hmm. try to do like the in-state, then the out-of-state. Sometimes we may not in-state, out-of-state, I'm sorry, and out-of-country. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, to as well. But yeah, we track it. I have me a little map too that I okay. have that I check off. <laughs> That's what I was going to ask too because I was thinking about the map. I had just told yeah. someone that. I think get you like a little digital map you want to hang it on the wall but just shade in the places mm-hmm. you've been that you can look back. Cause... Yeah, and, and I've been checking but I like that. I'm going to use that. Wait, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to shade it <laughs> And shade it in, girl, or color code. I'm lighting it down right now. Shade no, it in. Color yeah. Code. In color code. <laughs> Maybe color code if you're with family, if it was a solo, things like that. That's cute. Yes. Thank you for that. I'm <laughs> trying to get on my digital stuff because I take notes a lot and then I don't know where my notebook is and mm-hmm. I'm running around. So I'm trying to use more with my iPad and taking notes. And so That's me as well. I'm trying yeah. to get digital. A little <laughs> more digital. <laughs> For real. It's something but about it's that pen and the to paper. To use the pen and the paper. Yeah. Because that digital Sometimes it may not come up if your internet is working, but you can always toss that <laughs> to that paper and pen. <laughs> that is so true. And then yeah. this year I did, I do a vision board every year. So this year I did mm-hmm. the digital vision board. Oh, so I think just having those things available to you saying your map with traveling, me and my sister, I, I travel with my sister. So me and my mm-hmm. sister have a checklist and places we've been so I wanted to do the map as well because okay sometimes you're having a bad day and sometimes you could just be going through something and I swiped through my iPad and the vision board came up and I was like okay wow yeah this is what I was focusing on so thank you that cute little reminder to that gets you back in alignment Yes, indeed. And or in your yeah. case bring joy with traveling oh okay, yeah I remember right. when I went there Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> we hurry up and close this deal so I can get to the other state. <laughs> and that. Get through the day. Like, we <laughs> close this all down, honey, and see what these airline tickets doing. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay, and even if I'm traveling for business, I try yeah. to still get me a little bit of self care in. Oh, definitely. For sure. <laughs> That's oh, the best that. time. Oh, somebody else <laughs> <died. laughs> <laughs> I ain't paid for these tickets on all that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we going to the museum. We finna go somewhere. Somewhere. <laughs> on these people die. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> so for sure. I love that. I think that's a great example for the listeners. And what is the best compliment you ever received? Or if you have not received it yet, what would it be? Okay. <sighs> compliment. All right. I'm going to go. I'm probably going to dig a little deep. <laughs> this one. So yesterday I actually was at a conference and it was, it was a church conference, church related. And there was a prophet there blew my absolute mind last night. Wow. When I tell you Queen Mo, <laughs> he called out my whole name. No. <laughs> and he talked about my business, the ins and pieces and out of it. Oh. It was just like, my mouth was just open. Who are you? I don't even <laughs> know you. Like, how do you know me? But I know it was nothing but God. And as I told my sisters last night too, I was like, God really came to see about me. And he came to see about us in general. Good. Because what he said, and I guess this can go as a compliment that he told me that God said that your successes, you have done your successes in grace. Pretty much that God was proud of me. And that was that, that there was the best compliment that anyone can ever do. And that's what I did. And, And I say that because what I just said before, 
God came to see, he came to confirm yeah. that the things that I'm investing in, the things that I'm loving on, the things that I'm engaging in yes. is where he wants me to be. And the things that I'm doing is making him happy and proud. That's Glory. the best compliment that you can ever get. I know most people or most women want to mm -hmm. hear that you're beautiful. And yes, mm -hmm. indeed, we do want to hear those things. For, but we already you know, know it. We already know it. All of that kind of stuff. Yeah. <laughs> but to hear that, yeah. that even with things that that I've gone through privately, even mm -hmm. publicly, and yeah. gone th going through them, and he said, with grace. Yeah. And that yeah. I can continue pretty much to trust you. That's Ooh. the ultimate compliment I could get in this lifetime. Oh, so God. God don't, and honestly, as they say sometimes, if he doesn't do anything else for me. Yes. That part right there with him doing that is enough which lets me know that I am on the road to success for the kingdom. Yes. Come on. Kingdom. <laughs> so I'm good with God. Love, hey, love man. you. <laughs> hey, man. I honor you. Yes, and indeed. he loves you too. Yes. Oh, oh thank you. <laughs> that was so amazing. I'm so happy. Yes. Oh, I'm glad you shared that. Yes, girl, I got goosebumps. <laughs> That's why the lie got so quiet over here. Since I'm like, oh my God, that was supposed to start crying, trying to hold yes. up most. And I'm trying to hold them in too. Oh. I cried enough last night. <laughs> Lord have mercy. And those the best tears. Yes, those are the best. Those the best, best tears. When That's you know. all I needed to hear. Come on. I'm uh, long as I'm lining up with his will, that all that matters. That's oh all that matters. And that's the best compliment I could ever get. And I will continue to try to wear that for the glory to God. And I'm sure you will. I decree and declare yes, that you Lord. will in Jesus' name in continue Jesus. that on and then raise up mm -hmm. people who can continue that and walk in your footsteps as well. A whole yeah. other generation. Whew. So I oh my God. I'm so proud of you. Thank God for you. Lord, sure you get myself together. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Well, because that's what I said as soon as I as soon as we got on the phone, right? I'm like, Sylvie, you this is from <laughs> us being young girls to looking, this is what you should be doing. This is wow. everything you went through. Led up to this. Yes. <laughs> Led all the way up. And look, and I just think about it too. Like I said, when when I gave my life to him. At a yeah. very young age, you go through things in life and you detour here and there. When you are aligning yourself with the things of God, yeah, I knew at a young age that I always loved the things of God. Yeah, like, very, young. <laughs> very we young. young. We was in middle school. Sylvia was talking about the Lord. God, I'm trying to fight people. I'm trying to lie. <laughs> Do the most. <laughs> I thank God she was my friend. Yes. You know, because she always had something positive to say. And even though she was talking to you, the Lord was in the conversation. She was he always was. giving him the he glory. Was always with us. And, and we thank the, God yes. for covering them too. Jesus. Because Lord. the way, there are many that didn't make it. Yes. Even to this point with us. And when we were in middle school, who left us? So true. So we Sylvie. thank God for his covering. Yes, we do. Oh. That's oh. why I did the countdown to 40 days. Because I'm like, man, so many of my friends, so many classmates, so many people didn't make it with us to see 40 or just touch 40. And God mm -hmm. took So I was like, if he going to take me, they going to know something about me. They going to know more than what they see on here. Mm -hmm. They're going to know the backstory. <laughs> you going to know some of what I went through oh. to know how good he is to bring me to this point. Thank you, Lord. So thank yeah. God. I love that. Yes. So what are some of the new projects you have up and coming for this year? Oh, <sighs> incoming <laughs> projects for this year. We'll have something coming up that is like a different level of mentoring opportunity. Okay. So y'all be on the lookout for that. Yes. <laughs> um, I will also be having a community event for women and also my annual youth summit for the girls group. Okay. So, I'm excited about that to take that up a notch and up to a whole nother level too as well. Okay. So, yeah, God is moving and is working. Definitely. 
Most definitely. And can you let our listeners know how they can get connected with you? Okay, so you can connect with me on my website, which is www.mattersoftheheartsolutions.com. That's www.mattersoftheheartsolutions.com. On Facebook and Instagram, it's at Matters of the Heart Solutions. And also, uh, my business number is 561-247-0412. And you can leave a message. You can also send a quick text message to as well. And someone will reach back out to you. Awesome. That is great. That is it. Matters of the heart. <laughs> Matters of the heart solutions. Oh, my yeah. God. Full of solutions to get you where you need to be. But just making sure that you let your heart beat again. Because all of us have those moments where something has came about that has, like I said before, detoured us. But let your heart beat again. And with a healthy heart, with you getting these things in place. It's coaching, solution focus, your heart will beat again. And with a healthy heart, the beat goes on and on. Now to continue to refuel it, just like you go to put gas in your car, you got to continue to put fuel in you so that you can be the best that you could possibly be. And as I always say, be great on purpose. Yes. <laughs> be great on purpose. You want to be great on purpose. For sure. For sure. Oh, I love that, Sylvie. I'm so honored to have you on the show. I'm so honored to be here with you. I I'm just so feel wild. like, oh, I wasn't worthy, but I'm so glad I was in line it to get it. Thank you. <laughs> <Jesus>. <laughs> you are worthy. You are so worthy. Thank you, friend. Yeah. I'm going to leave all the links below for you guys with Sylvie, about Sylvie and Matters of the Heart and also her foundation. And I'll have all her information in the description below. And also all of her information when the episode drop will be on the website, Tuesday Testimony with Queen Mo.com. And so, Sylvie, I love you so much. I have to I come love to an ending. Okay. <laughs> but thank you for being on here, and I will definitely keep in touch. And again, I thank you so much for having me, for thinking of me. <laughs> oh, yeah. Top of the list. You're top of the hit list. Just <laughs> had to get it together. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much, Monique. Thank you. From love. the bottom of my heart. Oh, thank you, French. You're welcome. It was such an honor doing an interview with one of my dear friends who I love and respect so much. She's such an amazing person. And I actually asked her to sing at my mom's funeral. And she so graciously came there and turned it out. And I just really needed to hear her voice. And it made me feel a whole lot better. And I will be forever grateful to her for that. And just always the love and the kindness that she showed me in our friendship. So I hope you guys enjoy this interview as much as I did. It was such fun and a blessing and just all of the above. I have so many takeaways from it. And so, as always, guys, keep God first and the rest will follow. I'll talk to you next Tuesday. Peace. <laughs>